Hey guys, welcome to Draw with Sandy at the Little Artistic Nook. Today we'll be drawing this cute little artichoke. We're going to start our artichoke by drawing out the stem and I'm just going to start maybe about halfway down my paper and I'm going to start with the left side of the stem. So to do that, you can just start to draw a straightish, really slightly curved line down towards the bottom of your page. You can just ignore that little space I've left there that's going to be for a leaf we're going to add soon. If you're using a pencil, just draw your line all the way down. And then as you come towards the bottom, you can start to bring that line out towards the right. When it's as wide as you like, you're going to just round that corner and then start to bring your line back up towards the center. I'm making just a really slight S-curve here so that the bottom of my artichoke stem is a little bit wider than the top and I'm just going to leave the top open for now. Then we'll come over to that left side and I'm going to draw just a small little leaf. So to do that I'm going to do sort of a laying down S-curve here just resting right on the top of that line making my point coming on the outside edge and then rounding as I come back towards the inside of the stem. And then I'm gonna to start to draw a line that just curves a little bit up so you can take any kind of curve you want and I'm just leaving an opening for another leaf. Then we'll come back here to this left side. I'm gonna create a big leaf that's sort of coming out from the center of that top line. And again, I've just got a little point coming out side and it's just rounder at the center there. Now for this leaf coming out the right, I'm gonna add a little twist. So we're just gonna do a little S curve this time coming out towards the right. Then from the very top, we'll curve down. So I've got that little triangle shape and we're gonna continue that line from the point. Then come back underneath and we'll make like a second triangle. And so when we go and paint it in, that's sort of gonna be the underside of my leaf. And if you haven't figured it out by now, you know that I love all my little drawings to be super cute. So let's give this artichoke some eyes. Starting here, I'm just gonna draw a nice big oval. And then on the outside edge, I'm just gonna draw a curve that follows that left curve of the eye. And then I'm gonna make a little circle near the top center, and then just a small heart right underneath that. We're gonna do the same thing, so just leave a little space and come over and do another oval on the right. And we'll try to mirror those lines. So we're gonna make that curve on the side, it's gonna curve across the right. Then we'll put our first dot up towards that top center and a small little heart. And let's give it a little mouth that I'm just gonna do a little tiny circle, just right here in between the eyes. And yep, just a little small circle. And then I'm gonna just draw a little curve kind of coming right through the center. And that'll be the little tongue. Then you can color in your eyes any color you want, but I'm just gonna stick with black. So I'm just shading in the top part of the mouth. And then I'm gonna shade in around all of those lines we drew inside of the eye. So that when you're done coloring it in, you're gonna see that little circle, the little heart, and that little side highlight that we drew. Then let's go ahead and we'll add in some extra eye details. So I'm going to come across the top of the eye and just extend a little line above and flick out two little eyelashes to the left and then on the right eye same thing just flicking out the eyelashes to the right. Okay I think that is a pretty cute little face. So let's go ahead and start drawing out the top of the artichoke. So I'm going to start here at the center point, right at the top of our stem, and I'm going to draw an upside down V shape. So you can have a slight curve on the outside edges of your V, but pretty much you're just looking to have that point at the top. And I'm going to make another one here just behind. This time the point will be pointing towards that top right corner, and then we'll do one facing our top left corner. And this is sort of our first layer. And now we're gonna go in behind. And what we're looking to make, you're just gonna keep making these shapes because we sort of want the top of our artichoke here, all of these little petals, to kind of grow out and around. So I find it easier to just sort of start at that center point and then build towards the outside edges. And you're just gonna keep overlapping. 
good. And we'll add one here just in the center. So I've got five here in that second row. Then coming up from the third, once you have like, you kind of know how tall you want your artichoke to be, then you're gonna start bringing that roundness back in so that the top of your artichoke is not as wide as the base. So there isn't really a right or wrong, so I wouldn't stress too much about it. Just have fun with it and just keep layering those little upside down V shapes. And you want to make sure that there's not a lot of gaps in between them. It's just going to make the top of your artichoke look nice and full. So we'll add maybe, I'm going to have like just four going across the top there. It almost looks like an upside down pineapple. And let's just give her a little just a little something extra. So I'm going to draw a little leaf here, just kind of coming out the side of her body. So I'm going to start it just above the eye, and I'm just going to draw out a nice curved line towards the right, maybe dipping down. And then we'll come back to that outside edge of her trunk, and we'll just meet a point. So we've got that little leaf there. So I think... Just for my final details here in pen, I'm going to add just a couple little eyebrows. Perfect. So guys, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to paint her in and this time I've recorded myself painting her so I'm going to speed it up. But if you are interested in painting along with me, pretty much I'm using just different shades of green and it's all watercolors and I am using some Tombow brush markers. Um, so you'll need some shades of green, maybe a little bit of yellow, and then a couple shades of blue, and then something red for her cheeks. I will list all of the materials and colors that I'm using in the description below, so feel free to check that out. Alright, and enjoy the time lapse! So the first thing I'm doing is I'm just using a wet brush to lay down a base of water on the trunk. And then I'm just going to dab in my green colors. So I'm starting here with the lightest shade that I've chosen. And while it's still wet, I'm just going to start tapping in some darker greens in my obvious shadow spot. So underneath the top and then just along the bottom of her body. So the paper is quite wet, it's quite saturated, and I just have a really light wash of color on my brush. I'm going to do the same thing just up here in the top. This time I'm just doing wet on dry so that just has my wet watercolors on my brush. The paper was dry to begin with. And again, watercolor always dries differently than it looks when it's wet, so don't worry too much about having those blobs of color. And I've switched out now to a smaller brush and it has dried somewhat, so I'm just going back into the top part of my artichoke with those darker shades of green just to create some shadows. So places where I'm putting those shadows intentionally are sort of where those, where each individual petal, if I can call them that, is kind of tucked in behind the ones in front. I'm gonna put some shadows here under the leaves that are just sort of hanging over the top of her trunk. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start to darken in some of the shadows on those petals just I keep kind of going back and forth right so I'm trying to not work too much into the very wet areas at this point you're gonna get a little bit more color saturation if you let it dry and the beauty with watercolor is let's say you go and you lay it on and you're like oh no it's too dark you can just clean out your brush and take a little bit of water just to help fade it or even just blot it with a towel guys that'll work just as good there you go. I'm just kind of keeping it sparse. So I want some of those little petals to be lighter and some to be darker just to create some visual interest. And then we'll go ahead and we'll darken in some of these areas on the leaves. I've come back around to the bottom just to create a little more shadow and shaping here. So you can see that I've kind of dragged the dark color across the bottom and just up one side to give her a little bit of roundness and make her look a little less two-dimensional. And then I'm gonna have some fun coming up. You know, everyone loves that little watercolor splatter look. So to do that, I just kind of dip my brush in the paint and then I dip it again in water and I'm just doing some light little taps. There's all different ways you can do this. 
And once you get some little dots down, you can just dip your brush in water and then just touch that water right to those dots on the page. And try not to overthink it, just let it be random and let the dots go wherever. And now I'm just making a little shadow here on the ground just to, to ground her so that she's not floating in space. And I've chosen um, just a purple and a blue shade here to blend together. And I'm just bringing a little bit of that green down into the shadow as well. And then with just a little bit of red paint, I'm just gonna really lightly blot in some little cheeks right underneath her eyes. And you wanna make sure that where you're putting this is not super, super wet because your green and red will turn muddy if everything is really wet and blends together a lot. And finally, I'm just going in with my Tombow brush markers here and I'm just sort of accentuating some of those shadows throughout my artichoke with just that marker color. I'm using some yellow to just bring out some highlights along the really pointy tips of some of my lighter leaves up top. And then I'm gonna go into some of those darker areas with this dark green. And I'm just doing like little short lines. So I'm not really coloring, but I'm also not really drawing a line. It's kind of hard to see. But then I just take a wet brush with just a little bit of water and I sort of blend those marker lines up into those areas. So a lot. And guys, that is basically the end of our little artichoke here. So thank you so much for drawing with me and for sticking around to watch this watercolor process. If you would like a more detailed step-by-step -step watercolor tutorial, please leave a comment below. And until next time, for another Draw with Sandy here at the Little Artistic Nook, keep making art and keep smiling.